Hello everyone, it's Rachel Archelaus here, and I have a question for Intimate Alien today, and that question is, what can I do when I feel like I want to do something creative or expressive, but I feel timid about it? And I actually have another question, and which is, sometimes when I'm inspired to make something, I will... Um, want to make it for a person. Like I'll be inspired by someone's energy or something I saw they had in their house and I'll make something specifically for them. But then I wonder, why am I making this for that particular person? Is it because I want to cheer them up? Is it because I feel like they need it? Is it because um, I want attention from them? I'm thinking about that too. So those two questions. What can I do when I feel timid about expressing myself? And when I'm choosing to express myself in a way that's like for someone or making them something, what is that all about? Is that a healthy way to be? And now we go to her. Oh, hello there. What great questions for today. Thank you, Rachel, for asking them and allowing me to be here to give you some guidance on this. Of course, you are always receiving impulses from us telling you to go, be, do what it is that you wish to do. And we know that a question you heard from Carrie has been deeply resonating with you and you have been more brave because of it. And that question is, what would you do if you were not afraid? But we know that for all of you, you sense in your body certain boundaries that you are usually unwilling to go past when it comes to being different from those around you in that moment. When you are with a group of people who are doing what you want to do, it is easier. When you are around people, places, institutions that you feel are separate from what you wish to express, it can be more difficult. There is an innate desire within you as humans to want to assimilate, to want to mm, mesh with those in your area. And, and that is wonderful. But it also prevents you from feeling truly whole. So you get to decide how am I going to make the decision about what I do? Is it going to be based on the possibility of others seeing me or judging me? Or will it be upon what you really wish to be in that moment? Now we know that the intellectual answer will be you want to be yourself, but it is not such a terrible thing for you to acknowledge that you are making decisions against what you wish. You are just gaining an awareness. That is helpful because so many of you just think you are being your full self. You are not noticing that you are acting in fear. And so if you have this awareness, you are further along the path of reclaiming your own authority. So there is no shame in knowing that you sometimes act differently because you are afraid. That is a wonderful thing. So where do you go from there? You are in the moment, you want to do something, you have had the inspiration, maybe you are even prepared, and there is a fear of going forward. Well, you can ask yourself, what is the worst thing that could happen? What is the worst thing that could happen? and decide for yourself if that eases anything for you. But you could also take a moment before you go out there to recalibrate, to meditate, to connect with the version of you that is so much bigger, that is actually the one creating your reality, right? So, ooh, yes, connecting in, reclaiming your true power, your true knowing of who you are, is more than likely enough to ease the situation so that you can refine the joy, the spark again from that inspiration, that intuition. 
Now, when you get really good at this, you will be doing things just naturally. You will just be running outside as yourself. You will be showing off what you have created without fear because you are more in alignment with you than the fear. That happens over time, usually. You need to prove to yourself that you will be okay. So when you are feeling timid in that moment, if you have enough awareness and connection, you probably can meditate and connect your way back into full boldness. But if you cannot, just practice it in other times. Practice feeling better and better every day. Practice meditating every day. Practice doing what you love in your home, in a more comfortable environment, and you will build up that natural outpouring that you are looking for. So please do not judge yourself negatively if you are in this position. Just keep going, keep going, keep going. You are doing great. This is a natural process that you are in. Now, in terms of your second question about your intentions and if you are seeking attention from others instead of just wishing to express yourself and show love, we would never talk you out of expressing love and appreciation for others. But you do want to watch, am I choosing this person because I am trying to overcome something I perceive in them that is negative? You will receive back, not maybe not from them, but from, from you focusing there, you will receive back something you do not wish. So the better idea, if you can access it, is ask yourself, what really inspires me right now? What do I really want to create? I can take inspiration from that particular person or that thing connected to them, but what can I make out of it that is great? How can I use my time and my resources right now in a way that truly thrills me? You can go beyond that inner reaction to a place that transcends where you have been before because you are able to catch it. You are having these thoughts. You are saying, wait a minute, something doesn't feel right here. That is your indication that you can do more, that you can be more, show more. And you can, of course, include those people in your creations, but you are not trying to overcome their need or negative mood while you are doing it. So set your sights on pure positivity, pure expression, pure joy and thrill, and you will get back so much more. You will inspire those people from that vantage point instead of compounding where they were that made you want to do something. Does that make sense? You are, you are transcending the whole the whole thing and, and turning into that pure positive stream and exploding it out for others. So that is what we would recommend. Go beyond, go beyond, and you will never regret that decision. So be yourselves. Do you see how this is a process? Do you see how it unravels for you? There's always more to explore. There's always new comfortability to feel, and that is so exciting. So just keep going in all that you are doing. You are all loved. You are all doing great. And we always love experiencing what you create here. So thank you so much. And we will speak to you next week. Goodbye for now.